Hi, I'm Christine Davis, the Director of Humane Education at the SPCA Serving Area County, and this is my dog Murphy. Murphy is a two-year-old Yorkie that I adopted from the SPCA. So Murphy has a lot of energy and he loves, loves toys. But what he loves the most is destroying toys. I can't tell you how many toys I throw out because he wants to rip all the stuffing out of every single new toy that I that I buy him. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple, inexpensive uh, dog toys from things you can ha that you could find around your house. Um, and then if you have a dog like mine that destroys toys very easily, you can just toss them out and just make new ones. So. Without further ado, let me show you what you're gonna need. All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some no sew sock toys. So if you experience the issue where you put two socks in the dryer and only one comes out, or you have a lot of leftover socks, or you have some socks that you're getting ready to toss out, you can turn those socks into um, no sew uh, dog toys. Or you could pick up these really uh, fun ones from your dollar store um, should you not have any long socks. Um, also, you're going to need some tennis balls. Um, really, any ball will do. We have this nice ball that we got here from Perina. It actually squeaks, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then the other thing you guys are going to need is a water bottle. So these are really the items you need, um, some long socks, tennis balls, and uh, a water bottle. All right, so let's get started. So the first tool we're gonna make is this crinkly water bottle toy. So this is one of Murphy's favorites. Most dogs love the sound of the crinkly um, water bottle. I've even bought one of these from a store before, destroyed in two seconds. Um, so what you're going to need is a long sock and um, an a empty dry water bottle. So you're going to just take the cap off, um, you're going to take the label off, and then you're going to take your sock and you're going to make a knot here at the toe part. Now you're going to take your water bottle and I'm going to make sure your water bottle is dry. My water bottle is not as dry as I would like it. Um, and then you're just going to slide it up there and then you're just going to tie, tie it off um, at the end. And there you go. Very simple, very, very easy. Um, and like I said, one of the favorites, they love the sound of that crinkling. All right. So the next toy we're gonna make is just a simple um, uh, tennis ball, throw toy, tug toy. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a tennis ball. I'm gonna use the Perina one that squeaks. Cause that'll make them go crazy. Um, so what, you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it all the way at the toe. And then I'm just gonna tie a knot there. And there you have it. So nice, nice little little tug throw toy for outside when you guys are playing and playing fetch. Alright, so the next toy we're gonna make just a simple tug toy. So all you gotta do is we're gonna take the sock, you stretch it out a little bit. Um, you're gonna tie it at the toe. And then you're just gonna keep tying about an inch apart all the way down um, till you get to the end. And there you have it, nice little tug toy. Um, if you got a lot of Mitch Mac socks or you have any cotton balls, um, what you can do is you can shove all those socks inside your big tube sock here. Uh, let me see. Just keep shoving the socks in there. Shove some more socks in there. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put a tennis ball in here for good measure. 
And then you just, you know, and put this one in there too. And you're just gonna knot that at the end. And there you have it. You have a leftover sock with tennis balls that you can throw, they can chew on. Um, you have a lot of fun. So thank you for joining us for our simple and practical um, and inexpensive uh, dog enrichment uh, toy making. Uh, see you guys next time.